Hello everyone, Dependent Quarter here and today I have for you Multi-Lock Classic which is a 5 pin lock but it's a pin in pin which makes it a 10 pin lock. Uh, this is the core, we have some drill protection, we have a core centric pole bearing which is here and 5 chambers for the 5 pin in pins. Uh, the housing is not very special, it's just a multi-lock housing, 5 holes again, drill protection here and the interesting things are the pins basically the pins you can see there are outer pins and inner pins we have four outer spool pins and one standard we have three uh, standard outer key pins and two overset traps uh, for the insides of these pins uh, the inner pins key pins are all the same except this one on the last position and in the inner pins on the drivers you can see that there is a tiny tiny uh, bit here that catches on the over milling which is inside all of this standard uh, outer driver pins basically I'm not sure if you can see it there is over milling and this over milling catches the inner pin and locks up so that's very clever design very interesting and basically how I open this lock is uh, I use these two flags I used my standard flat flag to set the outer pins and then I used this modified flag which I made uh, from Honest Dongshi here is the tip not sure if you can see it very well hopefully you can and it's basically used to push on the insides of these key pins as you can see the tip goes in very well and yeah that was pretty much it so I'll be back in a minute and pick the lock ok, multi lock classic is in the vise now let's try to pick it first I will set out the outer pins I think they're set. Okay, it's open. Now let's get it.
Okay. I haven't got it this walk before, so I'm going to be careful. Okay, I think the shim is good. Okay, I have a ball bearing here. Now let's start dropping out the pins. Very interesting, there are also overset trap keepings. Okay, here is the core. And the last pin. Okay, this is it. The walk is got it. There are nothing unusual about the core. And yes, you can see the springs in the pins. Very cool. And also, I'm not sure if you can see, but this pin. The inner pin has a tiny lip all of them have a tiny lip which I think oh yeah there is over milling inside of this pin not sure if the camera is focusing or not let me put the light on yeah but there is over milling inside of this pin and most likely it catches like this oh yeah well that was it multi walk classic picked and got it thank you all for watching have a nice day and bye bye